That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaya and today we are finally going to be listening to Dark Throne for the very first time. We're going to be checking out the song Transylvanian Hunger. Super excited about that. Before we get into the video, we're in a brand new studio, girl, okay? Ah, I know. If you want to see kind of like the full studio, check like my Instagram. Um, I got some photos on my Twitter as well. Um, I know you can't really see like much of it right now. This is the first video I'm filming inside the new studio. So I'm still working out kinks. I finally blacked out this window um, and I got some RGB lights coming. Girl, we're doing this real, real time. Okay. So just be patient with me, but it looks so cool and I just think it's going to be better. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. I post weekly videos documenting my metal journey as a brand new metal head. I also have a discord, the mosh pit. There's an invite link down below in my description, as well as my brand new Stillwater PO box girl, where you can send packages and whatever you want to the metal unboxing videos <laughs> y'all know the deal let's go ahead and get into transylvanian hunger by dark throne <laughs> First impression, I'm still trying to figure out. <laughs> I have no idea what he's saying, but I I like it. I think it's it's definitely an interesting sound. I guess I'm still trying to figure out like what what I think of it. <laughs> Cause I know like these like original uh like black metal bands, it's like garage basement recordings. So that's kind of like the vibe of it. That's kind of like what makes it such a gem. And I'm definitely getting the vibe with this. Um, what's like the, the vibe that you listen to, uh, to black metal with like, do you do it while you like clean your house or whatever? I feel like I would love to hear dark throne live. I feel like this song would slap live. Um, I do like his voice so far. Let's continue. <laughs> Kind of building up here.
I like this part. Love this guitar solo uh, melody, I guess. Riff, riff. There we go. It's just so like somber, kind of. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting of this. Um, it's definitely reminding me of the Black Angels. It's very like a uh, monotone esque. There's just not a lot of like um, changes, you know. It's kind of like staying steady, but this riff is really, really catchy. The bass in this, the in the section just before this was fire. I'm kind of a studio snob, so I like. I, I don't like when like my metal is really polished, but I do like when it's like nicely, you know, mixed, <laughs> mixed and mastered. And of course, that's not really this. Um, but I feel like, oh, if it was perfectly, like, ah, mastered and they amplified that bass girl, and really let this, like, bow, now, now, guitar solo just, like, wail you, like, punch you in the face. But I also feel like this is a vibe. This is a very specific vibe we're going for. I, so I could definitely have a Dark Throne record. She's, uh, she's right there. I have the uh, the funeral moon one. Yeah, did you see? I got the Minecraft sword um, <laughs> under a funeral moon. So I have that one. Um, I feel like this is like definitely a vibe. I'd probably clean my house listening to Dark Throne. Shall we continue? Okay. <laughs> Love that. So they fade, huh? What was the bass doing? Did you hear that? Was it playing like up the fret? I liked it, whatever it was. It was definitely noticeable though because he was playing a much higher octave. So you could hear it um, above that solo. I feel like this song would slap live. Absolutely. Especially if um, if they, you know, the guitarist has like other pedals that he plays with, 
you know, I'm assuming by now they've played so many shows or whatever. Are they still banned? I don't think they're still a band. Somewhere I read that they aren't, they aren't a band anymore. But, oh, that's such a shame. Wait, that's such a shame. Oh. Because I was just going to say, they've probably done, like, so many shows where, like, he's been able to experiment on different things. Oh, but he... Oh. Oh. Guys. No comments. Shall we look up some more about Dark Throne? Yeah. So, I think Dark Throne is, like like one of the true Norwegian black metal bands. Yeah, extreme black metal. No, extreme metal? Oh, they're just considered extreme metal? I'm just gonna say they're black metal. Google is, okay, Google is saying they formed in 86 as a death metal band named black metal. And then, in 1991, Dark Throne embraced a black metal style influenced by Bathory and Celtic Frost and became one of the leading bands in the Norwegian black metal scene. Okay. Okay. Google never knows what it, it's talking about, though. I, f I feel like it wants to. Spooner's crate is still in this room, by the way. I kept it pretty much original, except his crate is now much closer to me <laughs> once i get the studio like fully um decked out i want to do a studio tour did i mention this in the beginning i don't know <laughs> but i'm gonna do a full studio tour for y'all extreme metal band i can't even pronounce where they're from excuse me i got it on Ugh. um yeah, Under a Funeral Moon, that's the one that I have on vinyl behind me in 93. So the the title track, Transylvanian Hunger, is from the same record of the na that name from 94. Um, sometimes dubbed as the Unholy Trinity. First three black metal albums. Considered the peak of the band's career and to be among the most influential albums in black metal. Oh, yeah, because I just did a black metal poll on my Patreon, girl. Go check it out if you haven't already. There's a link down below. Um, but I did a black metal poll on my Patreon and I included, I didn't include Dark Throne because I knew I was going to do this video, um, but I did uh, include Mayhem, Gorgoroth, um, Bathory, Behexen and Marduk. Um, and I almost included Burzum. It's Varge's uh, solo project. But I was like, well, I feel like I want to save that for like a solo video too, because Varge is so like polarizing as a person, even outside of Mayhem, <laughs> that <laughs> because of what he's done in Mayhem. <laughs> so I feel like I want to save that. Um, but there's such a like history to black metal and I love black metal like on this channel It's been like death metal black metal and grind core girl um, And I'm starting to get into the metal core and the death core like shadow of intent Money spoke to my heart and then um, cradle of filth also surprised me um, So What are your thoughts? on Dark Throne. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think about their, uh, the unholy trinity of albums? A Blaze in the Northern Sky from 92, Under a Funeral Moon 93, and Transylvanian Hunger 94. What do you think about those records? What's your favorite Dark Throne record? Um, what do you think about black metal as a whole? And uh, yeah, tell me more. tell me more about this. If you'd like to see more Dark Throne on the channel, let me know. Uh, kind of just introducing um, introducing them on the channel slash testing out my new studio. And I what what better way to do that to introduce the new studio than with Dark Throne Girl, okay? So, um, yeah, peep the Patreon. There's an invite link or a link in the description. 
Uh, no pressure from me, obviously, uh, but we're back in the game. Okay, we got content coming out. I'm filming. I've got things going. I'm rolling. I'm in a much better spot now. Um, just on a personal note, <laughs> Asheville was expansive. Okay, so I'm I'm in a much better spot now to really be able to like control this studio and uh, just my content overall, this channel and everything. Um, yeah, I also have the new PO box. Um, it's also in my description. So uh, don't send anything to the Asheville PO box or it will get returned to sender girl. Okay, I got the new one. Peep that. Um, and follow me on Instagram if you want. Join my Discord. That's really what I got. So I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye you guys.